What's going on guys, welcome to this episode of my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about home workouts and what you can do to get in a good workout without having to go to a gym. But first, I'm going to put a new light up. So this is the current lighting and we are about to switch into the new lighting now. So this lighting is 1000 times better although it may make me look like a bit of a ghost because it's so bright and so white but it's an improvement so we'll deal with that and before I jump into the actual purpose of this video I am going to install this little purchase into the gym because if any of you guys have got a home gym or a garage at home you will know that in the winter it gets freezing cold so I'm going to put that in to keep the garage nice and warm and hopefully improve my workouts. So guys that is my fan set up, my new light set up and we're about to dive into the true purpose of this video which is going to be about how you guys can get in a good effective workout without paying the ridiculous gym fees that many people feel are required to to gain a decent physique or to tone up or whatever your goal may be but the fact of the matter is it's not necessary you can tone up and build a decent physique at home without buying a gym membership I've kind of done it I've only ever had one true gym membership and then obviously I've built up my own gym but I've only had one commercial gym membership and I have managed to gain a decent physique out of it so I'm going to show you guys how I did it I'm going to show you guys some home workouts that you can try out by yourself at home without any equipment let's go so guys the first exercise I'm going to recommend that you do at home it's going to be a, uh, a press up now there's many different alterations of a press up and variations and they all depend on your skill ability so if you maybe aren't so strong yet and you're just starting out with working out and exercise I recommend starting on your knees so start on your knees put your hands out in front of you keep your back straight keep your legs crossed at the back behind you and then you just want to simply do a press up like that now the amount you are going to do will vary depending on your endurance and your abilities now that's the most basic form of a press up the next basic which is just a normal press up basically you're going to be on your feet so much like you were before instead of being on your knees you're going to be on your feet at the back like that keep your back straight again and you're just going to simply go down and come back up like that now depending on where you have your hands placed on the floor you're going to be working different muscles more really so the narrower you have your hands on the floor the more tricep you're going to be working whereas the wider you have your hands the more chest you're going to be working the more shoulders you're going to be working so now doing a press up works all of those muscles but Depending on your hand placement, it's going to target like the certain muscle more, but it will still use the other muscles. And if you really want to show off and you have a high skill level, you can do one-handed press-ups. You can try and do 360 barrel roll press-ups. So you can just basically, for a one-handed press-up, you're going to need your legs a little bit wider apart because obviously you're not going to have as much balance. But yeah, that's how you do a one-handed press-up. And I don't think I'm going to attempt the 360 barrel roll presser because I haven't done it in so long. But then again, I might just try it just for the laugh. Now the 
second exercise that I'm going to recommend is going to be a sit up or a crunch. Now that's going to really focus your core and it's going to build core strength and it's just a great exercise to add into your little home workout because it will burn a lot of calories. So to do a sit up you're going to want to either have your, your feet flat on the floor or tuck them in under something like your bed just to kind of give you something to pull again and pull against and resist your legs wanting to flare up like this oh. but feet on the floor or under the bed you're going to go down keep your hands on your head or cross them over your chest like this and you're just going to want it to come up like that and back down now keep the movement controlled and don't just move around like that because that's not going to do anything apart from making you look stupid and cause an injury. Now those first two exercises that I've mentioned are basic and everybody's probably done them before at school in a PE lesson or something like that but they are great fundamental exercises that will help you tone up and build muscle at home and you don't need any equipment to do them. Now the next movement I'm going to show you is a burpee so this is going to help burn a lot of calories because it's quite a it's like more of a cardio style of exercise because you're moving around a lot now i'm going to demonstrate the burpee now angle my camera in a place it will see me so you're going to st start on your feet you're going to jump down and then you're going to bring your knees in towards your chest like this put your legs back out Maybe not, I don't know how I've just explained that. It's so much harder trying to explain an exercise when you actually have to think about it, whereas normally I'll just do an exercise and I wouldn't think about it but I'd know how to do it. But then when you try and explain it, it's really hard, so if I do mess up on this video, apologies. I do actually know how to do the exercises. So a burpee, you're going to want to move the camera down so you can see. You start on your feet, jump down, kick your legs back so you're in a crescent position, bring your legs forward towards your chest, tuck them up, and then you jump up like that. So, full speed, you're gonna go up. Now, I recommend doing this exercise downstairs because if you have family that are sitting downstairs and you do this exercise upstairs, they're gonna kick off at you because it's gonna be noisy. So, do this downstairs. Another exercise that I would like you guys to try out and do is gonna be a squat, but a bodyweight squat. So, much like you would do in the gym with the bar, you're just simply gonna squat, but you just don't have the bar across your back. So, we all, I presume we all know how to, how to perform a squat, but if not, this is how I would go about performing a bodyweight squat. So you want to stand with your feet, shoulders width apart, toes pointing reasonably straight. I wouldn't say 100% straight because this might not be comfortable. So just stand with your toes pointing forwards but in a comfortable position. So then I would take my hands, I would cross them into my temples like this and then proceed to squat down make sure to keep your back straight and we're going to want to come horizontal maybe it's a small bit past horizontal and that is how we do a bodyweight squat if you want to make the bodyweight squat a little bit harder for yourself try doing a squat jump so much like the squat we go down but then when we come up we explode up and we jump like that so that's going to make the squat jump the, that's going to make the squat a lot harder and it's going to put more it's going to tax your aerobic like abilities a lot more because you're not just standing in a, one position doing one movement you're jumping around so you're going to burn more calories like that so we are back on the floor for the next movement which is going to be a plank now we all should have done a plank before but there are different variations to make the plank harder so a normal plank you're going to put your weight on the forearms 
like that. Make sure you keep a straight back. So it's basically a press up position, but on your forearms. And you just hold that there for as long as you can. Now, to make this movement harder, what we can do is we start in a press up position like this. Then we're going to go down onto our forearms and back up into the pressure position. So we just repeat this. Like that. Now that, two seconds. Now, doing this variation of the plank is going to work more muscles. It's going to work your shoulder muscles more and it's going to work your tricep muscles a lot more than just a normal plank because the normal plank basically just targets your core. It is a little bit of shoulders as well because some of your weight is over your shoulder, but adding this variation in is gonna include a lot more shoulders and a lot more tricep while still targeting that core just as much, if not more. So that's why this variation is better than just doing a normal plank. When I started this video, I didn't think it was gonna be very long because I didn't think I had a lot to talk about, but now that I'm recording it, more and more exercises are just coming to my head and I doubt I'll be able to get them all onto this video but like it, let me know and I will do some more videos just kind of putting together more of a workout and just showing you guys how to do some more exercises and explaining them to you. So if you like this video, hit the like button but also comment and let me know if you'd like to see more like this. I am about to go against one of the biggest tips that you've probably ever had regarding fitness which is don't eat before you work out because I might have just paused this video or paused the recording of this video to go and eat a very big meal so I'm kind of regretting that but never mind it's done now it's in my tummy mince and dumplings it was lovely but I've got to try and somehow get back into this video and then get my workout in. So, I think I'm only going to record one more exercise for this video because, as I mentioned before, I've got too many exercises to actually put in one video, so I'm going to have to do a couple if that's what you guys want. So, I'm going to do one more exercise and then I'm going to do my workout, which I'm not going to record because this video is already going to be quite long, I think. So, for the last exercise, what should we do? What should we do? Um, whew, I've got one because we haven't got many leg exercises in here, but in this video, what I'm gonna recommend that you guys do, and you're gonna hate me for saying this, and if you actually watch this video and you actually do what I'm saying, then you're gonna hate me. So let me get my camera back on. Oh, I love this song. Back on my selfie stick. And then back into my ghetto tripod. Right. So, if you do this exercise, if you try it out or if you've done it before, you're going to hate me for recommending it. But the exercise is going to be a wall sit. Now, what you want to do, this is the only exercise that requires anything other than a space on the floor but what you're going to want to do is you want to find a space on a wall preferably a wall that's like not rough or sharp or anything like that so what you want to do is adjust this like this put your back against the wall right now i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna have to adjust this camera again <laughs> Now, you want to put your back against the wall. You're going to want to squat down, keeping your back against the wall and keeping your legs. You want to keep your legs parallel and keep your back against the wall, feet facing forward. So it's kind of like a squat, but with your back against the wall and you're just going to hold it. Hold it for as long as you can. It's going to burn. You're going to start shaking like this. But it's a good exercise to do. It's gonna really tax your legs. It's gonna tax you mentally as well because it's such a hard exercise. And you will just wanna quit after like 10 seconds, but it's, 
it's a good exercise to do. It's going to help tone up those legs. It's going to help build muscle in these legs and build power. So that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, I've got so many other exercises that I could have showed you guys. These are just some of the exercises that I think they're kind of the easiest exercises to do and they're the fundamental bodyweight exercises that are going to help you build muscle and tone up. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you have and if you'd like to see more videos like this, put a little comment in the comment box. Let me know what exercises you've tried, if you've got any other exercises. Um, yeah, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's, that's a given. Everybody should be doing that. Subscribe! So, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.